Another terrorist attack in France, this time in Nice, a picturesque Mediterranean vacation spot popular with travelers from across the world, marred the week. Eighty-four innocents were killed and scores more critically injured in the latest crime of terror against the civilized world by an Islamic radical. The number of terrorist incidents has soared in recent years, along with the death toll and injuries caused by terrorists, according to the National Consortium for the Study of Terrorism and the Response to Terrorism. Despite the grim tally of death, destruction, and grief left in the wake of each incident, the progress of humanity is continuing unrelentingly. Every day of the past week, the Standard & Poor's 500 stock index had risen, and the index had hit record highs five straight days in a row before Friday, when across European bourses and on Wall Street, trading was subdued. Stocks closed down a fraction on Friday. The S&P 500 closed at 2161.74 about a tenth of 1% lower than the previous day's closing price. America's largest publicly held companies, the S&P 500, have been on an historic run since a March 2009 bear market bottom, and the seven-year economic expansion, one of the longest in modern U.S. history, is still intact. The U.S. stock market's strength has reflected a stream of improved data on the economy, including these seven positive signals. Strengthening personal income and spending growth. Strong retail sales. A rising index of leading economic indicators. A new low in unemployment. Record high job openings. The Fed's reiteration of its intent to maintain its stimulative monetary policy. The projected recovery in S&P 500 earnings following a year-long earnings recession. Our thoughts are with the French people and the families of the victims in the Bastille Day attack. In this time of sorrow, we pray that good shall always triumph over evil.